The Eagles don't necessarily have the pressure on being up in this series, but how big is this game for them tonight? Well, you have to be careful, James, the momentum you've gained that you give it back by playing a poor one. You want to push this lead as far as you can in this series. Enough talk, enough hype. Let's do this. Your first period is set to go. A critical game for both sides here, and we are underway. Receives the pass. Manitoba's got it in their own zone. Stanley's picking up steam. Sends it across. Makes the glove stop. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We're still scoreless. The Eagles win the draw. Timmons grabs the puck inside his own territory. Nice zone entry from the right side. And he regains control of the puck. Big play inside the defensive zone. Takes the pass. They go on the attack through center. Excellent stick work on the play. Colorado's gained possession along the boards. Here they come up along the wing. And the referee caught that trip on the play. We've got a delayed penalty coming up. And let's see what the call is. The Eagles don't like it, but they'll serve two in the penalty box. Played with fire. He got burned, Ray. Oh, he's digging around for the pocket. Sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down, and he's got to go to the box. Manitoba's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Now, uh, you know, James, I like offense. I like goals. I even want to hear one of your goal calls. You haven't had a chance tonight. Jostled off the puck. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. And the puck has moved to a safer spot on the ice. Manitoba's got a hold of it against the wall. Now he takes it over the line. Into the corner of the attacking area. Colorado's got the puck shorthanded. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. The Moose have the puck against the boards. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Denied that one. The Eagles win it in the defensive zone. Trying to clear the puck. And clearing attempt is a big success on that play. Slides it across to Gustafson. Right in the slot. And they can't finish that one. Oh, he's going to be kicking himself for that. The play was there. He just doesn't execute that last pass for the scoring opportunity. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Colorado's got possession here in their own end. Down the right side and into the zone. Stays with it. Move to the middle, and that's blocked. Takes control of the puck. A chance on goal, and there's the save. And with the two tied up off the faceoff, a great read to grab possession of the puck. Sends it in on the attack. The Eagles gain control of the puck against the wall. Up the neutral zone now. Jabs the puck away. Manages to hang on. Manitoba's got it in their own zone. Nice zone entry on the left side. Hangs onto the puck. Strong defensive effort. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. The Eagles will play it in their own end. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Manitoba's got it along the wall. Just wide. The trainer's already got the spare stick hanging over the boards for him. And the puck departs the zone. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Can't catch up to the pass. Steps inside the line. Into the corner. 
Quick pass to White. Couldn't complete the play. Nice zone entry from the middle. Maintains possession. Great poke check on the reach. Drives to the sweet spot. Hammers it on net. Denies him. He got all of it. Still lots of time left in the period. Still looking for our first goal. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Here's the chance to set up now. Puts it up front, takes a shot, comes up with the stop. I think through traffic like that, you're just hoping the thing hits you. The centermen glide into position. Takes possession of the puck off the draw. Bork stick handling in his own zone. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Moves the puck. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Manitoba's got the puck in the defensive end. Gains the zone through center. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Poked away by the goaltender. The Eagles move it ahead. And it's a quick pass to Gilbert. Makes the save. He had to be on top of his game to make that stop. That's a great scoring chance, and he turns it aside. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Still no score in this one. The Eagles win the draw. Hammers the shot. Stops him cold. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Here's an odd man rush. There's the whistle penalty coming up. He's going off for tripping, Ray. Reaching in for the pocket. He gets a stick caught in their feet. Another power play opportunity coming up here as they set up at the faceoff. Doesn't matter whether you've had one or ten power plays. The fundamentals of it are the same. Win the draw, get the puck to the point, try and spread the penalty killers out. Here's a chance! Shuts them down. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. The setters will glide into the dot. Manitoba's got it in the offensive zone. Fails to find the open man. On four! Out! Woo. And there's the whistle. Tells you a side that it's probably a pretty hard shot. It has to be to bounce out of play that quickly, but the goalie didn't even catch up to it. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And they manage to clear it. Manitoba's got it from behind the net. Into the attacking end. To his teammate. And he puts that one aside with ease. Puck picked up by McDonald. A chance to get it out. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. Gains the zone from the right. Trying to get back on the attack now. Manitoba's power play comes up empty-handed. We're back to even strength on the ice. The only positive for the power play there is they didn't have to skate up and down the ice. They didn't generate anything. They had it in the zone, but really nothing very good about it. I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. More than half the period has expired. Still scoreless in this one. And now he moves it to Timmins. Takes the feed. And he slides it quickly to Timmins. They fight for it along the boards. Quick feed to Stanley. Into the offensive zone. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Nice pass. Dumps it into the O zone. 
Manitoba's got the puck along the wall. Grabs it in his own end. Strong defensive effort. The Eagles looking against the half wall. The Moose have it in their own zone. Here they come. That's dumped in, and they'll get a fresh set of legs out on the ice. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. The Eagles move to the offensive zone. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Centering pass. Puts it on net. Blocked in traffic. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Slides the puck over. Takes the feed. Moves it to Dickinson. And that one's stopped. And it's in. He scores. Gets his own rebound. And makes it count. Quick shot on the first attempt, but that rebound came right back to him. And he's able to settle it and put it into the net before anyone else can stop him. The Eagles finally get a goal, and it couldn't come at better timing, Razor. There's been no room on the ice, and now maybe this will crack this thing open a little bit. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Smart defensive play there. Picked up along the wall by Dickinson. Nice poke check. The Moose have possession along the boards. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Pinned up along the boards. The Moose have taken possession along the wall. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. Dumps it in. Colorado's got a hold of the puck. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Let's see what the officials are calling. Dano's mugging of the player pretty cut and dry on this one, holding the call. He's going to see this on the big board once he sits down. He'll see this as a penalty. Man advantage unit is set. One of the keys to the game is having an excellent special team. This is their first power play tonight. Good job tangling up his opponent here. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. And they get it down. Yeah, good communication. They talk to each other. They're in the right spot. They just clear it down the ice. The Eagles are on the attack. Pokes it away in his own end. The Moose have gained control of the puck along the wall. McDonald's got it against the boards. Shot. He scores! Oh, the power play comes through. They move the puck nicely, and they're able to capitalize on the extra man. That's a quick one-timer right in front of the net. The pass is there. He's got no time to do anything with it, and he beats the goalie. Colorado's got to be feeling good now with a 2-0 cushion. Well, they should. I mean, they deserve this, James. They've worked hard, and they've executed their play very well. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Sends a pass over. Pumps the puck away. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. The Eagles get a hold of the puck in their own end. Gaining momentum along the wing. Pumps the puck away. Into the attacking area from the left side. Fires it into the offensive zone. Sends the pass over. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. Nice pass save. The first period comes to a conclusion. It's 2-0 after the opening frame. Pretty good start for one side. Not so much for the other. Fans, don't forget to find those draw boxes throughout the arena for our signed jersey, which we will give away tonight. Two more periods still to come. 
We'll be right back with much more action here on EA Sports. And the official seems about ready to drop the puck on period number two. The Eagles win the faceoff. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Set it out in front and makes the routine save. Lots of time left in this period. Colorado's got a 2-0 lead. Manitoba's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Here's the pass. Handles the puck. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Officials' arms going up in the air. He caught that hook, too. Moves into the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. There's the whistle. Here's the call from the officials. The Eagles have been called for hooking. Like every player in the history of the game, he doesn't like the call, but he's going to have to go <laughs> serve his minor penalty. Another chance here on the man advantage. you got to have a short memory on a power play. You haven't scored yet tonight, but that can't matter on this one. Get the puck back to the point, start moving it around, and get people converging at the net. Great read to break up the play. And the puck leaves the zone. Manitoba's got a hold of it along the wall. Headman pass. Big play inside the defensive zone. And they move the puck out of harm's way. The Moose have gained possession off the wall. Beautiful feed up ahead from the right wing side. Manitoba's on the attack. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. Trying to gain a step. Cuts to the front. What a stop by the goalie! Yeah, he looked really confident out on top of the crease, followed the shooter, and made the stop. Colorado's got the lead here early in this second period. Their offense has been clicking on all cylinders thus far. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Stays with it. Both teams are now back to even strength as the power play has expired. Pretty hard to have a more low-intensity power play than that. They really didn't generate a thing, and when you don't generate much, you're sure not going to score. These are positional saves. This is a good scoring chance, and he makes the stop with his stick. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. We've got a 2-0 game here tonight. Manitoba's got it, and they're on the attack. And he makes the save. This shot comes from a real dangerous area on the ice, but the goalie's in position, and he makes a nice stick save. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Timmins plays it now. Here's a short pass to Dano. Manitoba's got the puck behind the net, and that's picked off. the draw and a nice job locking up his opponent takes the feed at the point Colorado's got the puck he's got a step here's a chance out front you'll need more than that to beat him receives the pass they've got numbers unloads one and that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled Handles it along the blue line. Centered out in front. Let's it go with the stop. Comrie's done nice work here on this scoring chance to turn it aside. 
Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The Eagles are currently sitting in the driver's seat, leading 2-0. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. On the backhand in front, big save. Oh, he had to get up tight to the puck. In close, he takes away any room. Takes the pass. Nice feed from the right wing. Colorado's got it across the line. Penalty coming up as the whistle stops the play. Green's getting called for tripping on the play. He's going to look up at the big board and see that. You know what? That's a trip for sure. He got a stick in the wrong spot. Tripped up the player. The Eagles send their man advantage unit out once more. They've been successful on the power play already, James. So now you get another opportunity. Do not relax. Go we'll pile it on and get another one. Manitoba's got possession while undermanned. Puck moved back to the neutral zone. The Eagles gain possession along the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Reaches out and pokes it away. Centering pass from the slot, fires away. Denies him again. Really sharp, never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Comrie's able to make the save as we see here. This is a good scoring chance, but he's in good position. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Colorado's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Gives them nothing in front. Excellent stick work on the play. Sends it to the cross side. The Eagles scoop it up along the boards. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. And loses possession after a solid hit. That's moved up ahead. Time's up on the power play. Both teams back to even strength. That power play was a lot of window dressing. They had the puck in the offensive zone, but really didn't generate a whole lot. The penalty killers must be pretty happy with that. Into the corner now. And he slides it quickly to Bork. Moves the puck. Here's the shot. Off the outside of the post and stays out. Manitoba's close, but they can't get close enough. That shot hits the goalpost and stays out. And now it's over to Wagner. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Comrie's going to smother it to get a whistle. Can get dangerous if nobody's in control of the puck. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looks like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Colorado's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. Manitoba's looking to break out. Picked up along the boards by Green. Puck grabbed by White. Picking up momentum inside the neutral zone. Takes a shot, comes up with the stop. Moves with the puck at the corner. Strong defensive effort from the top of the offensive zone here. Puck scooped up by White. Denies him in close. We often talk about a goalie's reflexes. You've got to have quick hands to make a glove stop like that. As a great older colleague of mine says, this is waffle boarded away. Here in the back half of this period, 2-0 is the score. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Musa quickly over to Bork. Drills him. Can't find his man. Right to the middle. Whiffs on that. Oh, what a missed chance that was. Yeah, he's got to make a better play there. He's done everything right. Now you just got to get the puck on the tape. Fired into the offensive zone, allowing for the blue line to change things up. Colorado's got the puck along the boards. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Manitoba's got control of it now from their own end. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Harkins is taken down, and the officials are signaling for a penalty. Pretty cut and dry with a tripping call here. Yeah, but James, every player argues the tripping call because you feel like your stick was in the right place and the other guy stepped on it. Never your fault. And it looked like there was some late moment lobbying there. It didn't yeah, work. it doesn't work. No, no, none. As we're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. If I'm coaching their team, James, when these guys went onto the ice for the power play, I tell them, forget about what's going on. He scores! 
set up big one at that. Oh, the rookie comes through in his first playoff year with his first playoff goal. This puck changes directions pretty significantly here as it bounces off the defender and goes in. Manitoba's back to center ice, and now it is just a deficit of one. What a difference just the one goal makes in the way that you look at the game, what makes you think is possible. They only need one more to even this up. Takes the feed. The Eagles move the puck in the defensive zone. 12 minutes, 46 seconds. Manitoba's got possession at center. Through the neutral zone and along the boards, here they come. Colorado's got a hold of it against the wall. With some open space at center. Couldn't connect on that pass. Moves it around along the half wall. Moves right to the middle. Quick snap. It's in the back of the net. He scores! This is a terrific shot. He beats the goaltender, but the goalie gets a chunk of it. Not enough. He can't slow it up. Colorado's got an insurance marker here. They now lead by two in the second. Don't back off, though. Keep pushing ahead. Play the game in the offensive half of the ice. Taken by Anderson. And that one's broken up. Stanley's got the puck in his own zone. And he connects with the long bomb. What a one-pass breakout that is. A chance from the slot. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Sometimes you're in close. There's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. White's got the puck from the back end. Shot in front. Oh, and he can fake his stick for that one. Wagner's taking it from his own end. Tries, draws a penalty as he gets hooked. Colorado's moving it along the wing. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Let's see what the officials say. The Moose have to deal with two minutes in the sin bin for hooking. I hated taking these penalties. It meant that I was out of position a little bit and you have to do something in desperation. Colorado's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Well, they've earned another power play, James. Of course, that starts with an offensive zone faceoff. They've had success earlier in the game. They'll want to double up on that now if they can. Puck slid down the ice. The Eagles have it behind the cage. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Nice pass. The Moose have the puck shorthanded. They get it out of the defensive end. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. The Eagles take it across the line. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. They clear the zone. Referee Shilovec's hand is in the air. We've got a penalty coming up. And the officials stop the play. Let's see what the call is. The Eagles will serve two for holding. Pretty tough to argue when you've got your hand wrapped around the guy's arm. Penalty for holding. And on the heels of that call, we get ourselves a little four-on-four -on, -four on the ice. The last couple of years, we've seen different strategy four-on-four -four come into the game. What is apparent, when you get the puck, you keep it. You'll move it and hold it till the great chance opens up. And his stick oh. just imploded. Nothing you can do about it. You do everything right, and then your stick just collapses. Manitoba's got a chance to go to work on the power play here after their penalty expired. The Eagles take it along the wall. Quick shot, and that one's broken up. Great block there. Slides it diagonally to Bork. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Couldn't find the intended target. And the puck clears the zone. One minute left. Second frame almost done. Well inside a minute now. Puck knock 
loose in the neutral zone. Trying to get it down the ice. Both teams back to even strength as the power play comes up empty-handed on that one. They did enough to kill this penalty off. It's not been a great night for them. It's been just an average one. Yet this time, they come out ahead. Move to the middle. Oh, it comes up with nothing on the play. Oh, man, he's frustrated with himself. He's got to get that on the net. And the sound of the horn will wrap things up for period number two in what has been a tightly contested affair. Are you looking to impress at your next group event? Then let's out one of our luxury boxes with great views. Waiters Third period just around the corner. Ray and I will be ready to bring all the action in moments. Your seat in one of our extravagant luxury boxes. See our website for details. All right, here we go. A big third period set to go. Ray Ferraro, James Sabalski bringing you all the action. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Colorado's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Sends it quickly to tries. The Eagles will play it from the defensive zone. Colorado's got the puck against the boards. And he easily stops that one. He's really enjoying the spotlight of being one of the league leaders in goals. You take more responsibility, you have to produce, and he seems to embrace it all. We're still in the early stages of this period. 3-1 is where we're sitting. Fans being treated to a lot of offense thus far. Quick pass to Anderson. Slides the puck over. Manitoba's in now. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Takes the feed. Quick feed to tries. Can't connect. Can't hang on after that hit. Oh, what a save in front. Aggressive stop out on top of the crease to make the save on a dangerous chance. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. And now he moves it quickly to tries. There's the whistle. Offside is the call, stopping the play. That's a pretty good scoring chance. That's a chance the shooter thinks might go in, but the goalie turns it aside. Manitoba's had a lot of good looks on goal, but they still trail early in the third. The Eagles get a hold of the puck off the draw. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Takes a shot and makes a save. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Manitoba's won the faceoff. Here's a chance right in the slot. Colorado's looking to break out of their own end. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Takes a shot. Oh, what a stop. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. The Eagles have it behind the net. Through center. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Makes a move in front. And a great save. Manitoba's got the puck now. Here they come up along the wing. And look at this, a three on one. His reflexes on display tonight. Takes the feed from the wing. The Moose have the puck in the open ice. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Manitoba's got a hold of it along the wall. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. The Eagles play it along the boards. The Moose have taken possession in their own end. Nice connection on cross ice pass. Nice zone entry from the left. Jabs the puck away. The Eagles have it against the wall. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Grabs the puck. From his own end, he moves it up ahead. Puck set in, and that will allow for a fresh group of forwards to get out on the ice. Manitoba's got it in their own zone. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Oh, this looks just as good from the goalie's perspective a second time. 
He makes the save on the three-on-one. Manitoba's Achilles heel tonight has been finding offense as they trail here in the third. Dickinson's won it in their own end. Long lead pass into the open ice. Sends it in deep. The Moose have taken possession along the wall. And the puck leaves the offensive zone. They'll be forced to tag up. On the attack along the boards. Can't connect. Takes the puck along the boards. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Moves the puck along the half wall and makes the save. Great reflexes, another save. That's why a goalie can never relax. He makes one stop, now he's got to be sharp to make another. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. We got a penalty coming up as he was hooked on the play. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. And the goaltender gets to the bench for the extra attacker. Grabs the puck in the corner. And there's the whistle stopping the play. The Eagles have been handed two minutes for hooking. I guess at a certain point, you got to let the guy go. But he worries that he's out of position, so he tries to slow him down with a hook. Pretty cut and dry call. They'll go back to work on their special teams. Well, this has been a real mixed bag for them. Some good, some bad. Here's another opportunity, though. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. And they fail to go tape to tape. Stanley's gaining momentum. Move to the middle. A chance in front. He was locked in there. High quality chance, high quality save. Manitoba's gained possession along the boards. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Looking to break out here on the power play. Nice speed from the left side up the middle. No one home on that play. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. The Moose have possession along the boards. Sends a pass over. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. And time expires on the power play. Both teams back to even. The pressure points on the penalty kill have been letter perfect tonight. They've pushed at the right times. They've sagged back at the right times. Gotten the requisite saves when they need those two. We got a minor penalty coming up For here sure, on this one. James. I mean, this call was going to be made. You could see the play develop. And now they're going to have to serve two minutes. Another scoring opportunity looms here. They've talked in the last week about really trying to be more aggressive on the power play. They were earlier on, and their coach has got to be pleased with the results so far. The Eagles get a hold of the puck under man. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Manitoba's got the puck along the boards. Takes the feed up ahead. Really good quick up from the defenseman. Comes up with the steal. The Eagles take it along the wing. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Hammers a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Past the midway mark of the frame. Crowd's been into this one right from the get-go. It's 3-1. Manitoba's got a hold of the puck. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. One too many moves. The shot might have been there, but the puck's off his stick. The Moose have gained possession off the wall. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Colorado's PK unit comes up big as both sides are back to even strength. Well, they can thank their penalty killers as the lead stays the same. They put themselves in a tough spot, but they get bailed out by their PK team. Back to the point it goes. Oh, great pad save. And there's the whistle. Yet another penalty set to be handed out here. Dano's going off for hooking. You get caught when you don't move your feet. Now you've got to reach out to slow the player down. He's in the box. Rightly so. The Eagles once again send out their power play unit. As someone who played a lot on the power play, you get one early in a game, it gives you more confidence. They look like they're ready to get another one. Scrum along the boards. Grabs the puck here in their own end. And a successful clearing attempt. The Eagles gain control of the puck against the wall. 
Colorado's got it in their own zone. They go on the attack from the left side. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Sends the pass over. Manitoba's ready to go on the attack. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Feeds it to Sherwood. Colorado's in transition. The Eagles played along the wing. Deep inside the defensive zone, trying to clear the puck. Cross the blue line, and they'll get that much needed change, Ray. Yeah, they've got to get guys off the ice. They look tired. Now you can get a fresh group on the ice. He got all of that one. Grabbed along the board by Salamaki. Moves it to Gilbert. Nothing doing on that. Handles the puck. Dano's going to play it against the half wall. Knocks the puck loose. Manitoba's got a hold of it against the wall. Dano's going to play the puck behind the cage. And that's broken up with a stick in front. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. That's going to rattle your molars around there. That is an enormous hit that he took. Manitoba's offensive struggles have been the story tonight. Lots of chances, just not a lot of results. The Eagles get a hold of the puck in their own end. Colorado's looking to break out. Along the half wall with the puck. Hammers it on the one-timer. Turns him away. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Centering pass. And that one's blocked. Effective use of the paddle on that one. The Eagles will play it from the point. They're wearing down the other team's defense with this cycle in the offensive zone. Great save from in tight. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Comrie's in great position here to make this stop. Nice work by the goaltender. Late goings of this period. Colorado's got a 3-1 lead as they have dominated for the most part in this. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. Manitoba's across the blue line. Hangs onto the puck. Trailing in this one, they have pulled the goalie and the extra attackers out. With possession along the wall. Receives the pass. Feeds it down low. Moves behind the net. Here he is with the backhander. Turns it away. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. The centermen glide into position. Snatches the puck with the two centermen locked up. Here's a short pass to Wagner. Throws it in. The Moose have gained control of the puck along the wall. Takes the stretch pass in the open ice. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. Manitoba's running out of time. They need to find a goal here quickly as they trail late in the third. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Takes the stretch pass here in the open ice. And that should do it. Yeah, the result now is pretty well blocked in. I mean, this is a nice little cushion to score into the empty net. Now that empty netter should wrap this up here. We're in the last little bit of the third period. That should be enough. The Eagles win it. Takes the pass. Slides the puck across to Anderson. Steps across the blue line. Manitoba's got the puck along the wall. Knocked away. It is all over. Now down 2-0.
nothing. Time to hit the panic button in your mind yet? Oh, you're getting there. You're down two. There's not much room for any air left. They had the air pushed out of them tonight. Great playoff action tonight for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. We'll talk to you next time where the fun will continue.